Oh, that's dark. Let's try that again. That's better. As you all know, that's my car. It's a 66 Chevy Impala. And there's not much I've done to it. There's a new exhaust that I, I kind of did. I, I don't really consider that working on it. It's just kind of welded on really badly with uh, exhaust clamps. And there's a lot of uh, leaks. Leaks, a lot of them. There's an old man looking at me. I always drive past his house and my car is loud and he doesn't like that very much. I got a little piece of the Addy on there. I got the Torque Team plate cover. It's the four door. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the four door. It's not the four door hardtop, it's the four door sedan. It's the, it's the, it's the grandma one, but it's all right with me. 327, it's factory AC car. It does not have the 327 in it anymore. It's nothing special. It's a small block, 350. Out of, oh, now I got dark. Out of a um, 71 Camaro Z28. It's got a 700 R4 transmission. It's the actual, like, real shifting one. Here's that 350 that I was talking about. It's that dirty, 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 dirty 5.7 liter. Is out of a uh, 71 Camaro Z28. Um, got the, the ram horns. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Oh, yeah, the ram horn headers, the angled and then the straight down, they're both straight down, I think. Oh, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, look at that, there's the angled one. Um, radiator has a leak, so I did this nice thing here and just got gasket maker and sealed it. There's a little bit of a leak from the top of the intake manifold because, again, I didn't do this before, but that's gasket maker. So that's good. It's got an Edelbrock 1401 carb. It's a four barrel. It's got an electronic choke. It's got just the electronic ignition. It's not going to be focusing. There it goes. Um, it had factory drums all the way around, so the guy before me switched it to discs, and he, he put power discs. Well, it's a disc in the front. Um, you can see there, it's 327 car. It's pretty clean. There's some rust in there these areas which are just great this was a northern car I think he said it was northern Illinois I don't really know if that's considered a northern car but I mean it's a northern part of the state so yeah um, you can see me there there's it's got the 17 inch or no not 17 it's got the 16 inch rally wheels off of the Corvette um, I do have the original hubcaps you see back there how dirty it is if it would focus how dirty it is back there so Maybe I'll go back there. Only one wheel is clean. I don't know why, actually. I mean, it's it's a pretty solid car, except for the rust in those areas. There's a little bit of Bondo on the back the back quarters, too. That was my fault. Um, well, it's not my fault. It was my fault for not checking it when I got the car. So, I've had the electric fan that he got for it, and he was like, the electric fan, I'll keep it cool. So I install the electric fan, I go for a drive, drop my friend off, it overheats like halfway there, and there's bad traffic in this in the area that we live in, so luckily in the trunk I found the original clutch and a shroud, so I just stuck that back on. Um, I have stickers that say, look all you want, please don't touch. I really don't care, I just got it because I got a part from Jeb's. Uh, I got Cooper's Garage, I'm gonna rep that. We're probably gonna make a channel about that, you'll see us on that soon. Um, cherry bomb stickers, because I got cherry bombs, they don't sound good. I had Magna Flo or, uh, Flow Masters, or Magna Flows. It was right the first time. Took it off. Summit and Speedway because I keep blowing my diff up. And comp cams. And I don't have a comp cam, but I like the sticker, so I did it. All right, I'll go in the inside now. All right. So, I got the original steering wheel. It's gonna focus. Gotta love autofocus on a DSLR camera. Doesn't work. But <laughs> I got the original steering wheel. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm switching to manual, screw this. So, you see there, um, grainy, 7,600 miles, that's on the rebuild. Um, that doesn't work ever. Uh, I made a really crappy backplate for the radio because he had like a classic industries, uh, like old, new old stock kind of radio thing, so I just found it in there and I just stuck it in. Um, he, had, he had literally so many parts for this thing in the trunk. So yeah, this factory AC car, I do not have the compressor because the compressor only fit on a 327. I mean, I have the compressor, it's over there, but I don't have mounting brackets for the 350. 
Uh, the Impala steering wheel, the horn doesn't work unfortunately. I just got turn signals. Remember, in the, one of the videos I made earlier, I didn't have them. But now I have that. Um, oil pressure gauge doesn't work because the the little thing that goes into the back of the block leaks, which is kind of ironic. Um, volt gauge, that's the only thing that worked. The water thing worked, but then my steering uh, my steering knuckle, or not the steering knuckle, my, my steering whatever, I don't know what it's called, but it got caught up in the coolant line that goes and tells the temperature. So that ripped off. Um, my favorite part of the car is right there, because it's like an old wood finish look. I don't know, I just like it. There's my dice, Dawson gave me those. You probably see Dawson, he's a, he's a mini and BMW guy. Caesar from Tito's. I don't know why I have that, I found it at a junkyard. And yeah, that's the inside, look at that. Two pedals, and there's a thing on the ground because it leaks, and there's dirt. It leaks from right here, so that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, everything on the car works, except for the AC. The heat is great. I have two ashtrays because why the hell not? Actually, I have four. I have two back here also. One right there and one over there. And I have two pairs of, or uh, two pairs. I have a pair of Scotia. I don't know how you say it. They're just like Walmart, $20 Walmart speakers just because I needed to fill the holes. And then the person that had it before me, or probably before him, drilled or grinded out holes for speakers in this stuff. So I just got some Pioneers and I stuck them in. That's the inside. The stereo is not bad, but I can't really play anything because copyright. Got to tuck those wires up again. That's that looks terrible. I'm there. We go. Yeah. I, he had a foot uh, gas pedal for it too, which I have, and the pedal is pretty sketchy. Like it just it just falls off, and you gotta just tap it back on. So that's why I do not have the foot there. I'm gonna open the trunk, or I'm gonna open the the bed basically because of how big this freaking thing is. Got two keys for that. So gonna do this. So there's the trunk. Um I I bedlined it like about a couple months ago and I didn't let it cure or I didn't let it sit so it just started to peel right up but there's a lot of rust back here and yeah, here's the subs. It's just Walmart subs because I wanted some subs. I wanted some base. There's the amp. Really, really well wired in back there. Um, he had a Voodoo Hoodoo. I don't know what that is. I, I think, I looked it up and I think it was some bike thing. But wow, it's really ripped up now. I wonder what was hitting in my trunk. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, there's my my big trunk. Now, to give you perspective, I'm going to go all the way back here and see what I mean. So, trunk almost as big as the hood. Wow, that looks bad. Hopefully it'll get better soon. Here's the, uh, what I'm, these are what the hubcaps look like. Hey, you can see myself and my camera and stuff. But they look like this. They're really, really nice. I really like them. I'll tell you the story. So I was getting on to 65, which is like a highway that a lot of people, all the trash back there, a uh, highway that a lot of people know. And this front right one has a tendency to fall off sometimes. So, of course, my luck, it fell off when I was getting on the on-ramp, and I pulled over, and I was going to go and, or I was going to pick it up, and when I went up the hill, because I had to climb up the hill, when I went up to go pick it up, uh, some guy with a trailer had pulled over, and he took it, and I watched him take it, and I watched him walk and get right in his car after he took it, and I thought he was going to be like a decent person, because he saw me on the side of the road looking for it. Thought he was gonna drive down, kind of put it in my car, put it like on the road or on the side of my car, or something. I don't know, on the side of my car, on the roof of my car, or something like that, because he was getting on the on ramp too. So I was like, oh, maybe he just didn't see me. He's gonna be a decent person. He saw my car though, so I just waited for him to drive past, and he just he just cruises right on by. I know he knew he came off of that car because you could clearly see it. There's one missing. He saw me looking for it, but yeah, I took it off, and that's good. So. Now I just have the the bare rally wheels, and I don't really like it. Also, it has inch and a half spacers in the back because I'll show you. This car looks like a bulldog on a skateboard if it doesn't have them. But yeah, there's spacers are on the back right now. It's a, it's not a bad stance. I have the air shocks in the back, so that's another good thing. Look who just decided to show up! What the hell are you doing? Why are you listening to the Beastie Boys? That's my jam, bro. 
I was I was doing a little walk around of my car. And now I'm gonna do a little walk around of your car, but it's actually just gonna be a walk around and I'm not gonna go in depth because it's very boring and I don't care about it. No, you don't either. You know what? Don't care about your car, you Mason. I don't care about your car. Boy. I don't care about that either. Fight me. You want me to? Oh my name's Mason. Your voice is literally gone too. I know. Yeah, we haven't actually in introduced him yet, but that's Mason. That's his car. You saw him in our earlier videos. And that's Ben, he's barking. You saw him in our earlier videos. Uh, we tried to work on that, didn't work out well. It's a little muddy. It's a little bit muddy. I was showing them how dirty my engine is because I haven't opened this hood in probably a month. You got a funny story. Tell me. You know Miss Fisher, principal? Yeah. Huh. She almost caused a wreck today. Why, what'd you do? So, she was, uh, Pulling out of subdivision, okay, there was a car in front of her turning left. She was turning left. She was behind that car, so she was second. Yeah. Well, two cars stopped because it was during school traffic. Yeah. To let that car turn left. And then they started to go. She decided she was going to go too. And was this far from the truck. It was like a big from, truck? Yeah, big truck. Was he honking? Yeah, he was honking. Good, he better. And she was uh, on her phone again. Uh oh. And then I was, looked at uh, my stepsister and her uh, stepbrother was like, yeah, she's me and Logan seen her text and drive before. Oh, she's almost hit me in my neighborhood. Yeah, she's she doesn't know how to freaking drive. It's pretty funny. Look at that. Look at my leak on the uh, what is this for? intake manifold. What's that? Just, just I don't know. Positive just lead. Don't no. It's just, just is that a? Oh, that's a pop. Wow, that's not safe. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, it looks like I might go to this. This is insurance information because I broke down the side of the highway like a couple of days ago. I had to replace my diff pin again because I broke it once. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a startup. What a, what a, what kind of Flowmasters or what kind of cherry bombs are they? Glass packs. They're, well, I need that. They're, they're, they're called glass packs. But they're the, glass the 24 inch ones? Yeah. The long ones. The long, the long 24 inch cherry bomb glass packs. And I don't really like them. Oh, good. guys on a little trip so you can hear how bad the leak leaking it is. You'll just be able to hear it. Yeah, you can see them. They're cleaning it up because they're over axle. And they leak really bad. They make terrible obnoxious noise. I'm gonna set you guys back up. I'm gonna rev it. Keep in mind that this car's red line is 4,000 RPM. That'll wake them up. My ears. <laughs> That's gonna break the poor people's speakers. Well. Oh well. It's their fault. Just kidding, it's not their fault. You watch the video. It's kind of your fault. I'm waiting for my mom to come out. She's gonna yell. I'm ready. Oh, here she comes. Hey mom. What? Say hi, cause I know you heard me do that. I was just gonna tell you I am going to downtown tomorrow. Oh, you are? Yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Oh, we'll say hi. Hi. <laughs> So, I'm gonna discuss my plans for this car. Just clean it up. I'm gonna keep it exactly how it is. Well, I'm not gonna keep it exactly how it is. I'm gonna paint it, it's gonna be painted black. I'm gonna do black tint, probably just 20%. I'm going to uh, paint the wheels black. Probably clean up the interior. There's scratches like here and there. There's the dashes. Gross. Make a new faceplate for the radio because that one looks awful. I don't know, really, not that much. I really don't want to do that much to the car. I'm going to probably do long tube headers. I was I was this close to buying them, and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll get some for Christmas. I didn't get any for Christmas. But now that I didn't, I'm probably gonna get some. At some point, do the Vortec conversion for the heads, but that's a lot of work and some money. But other than that, yeah, I'm just gonna kinda keep it. It's not stock, clearly. I mean, it looks stock. It's not even a sleeper. It's. I think the guy I was like, it's like 330, 340 wheel. But I don't. I don't believe that. It. It feels maybe like 270. Like my dad's G37 is faster than this. But it might also just be because this is. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, good. It might also just be that this is a 
Old car. Wow, that's that hurts. I didn't even realize that. It's 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 I'm chapped. Oh, it says six, five. Oh, it's gonna cut me off. Bye. Thanks for watching. You should subscribe because it's awesome. Because we're awesome.